Hi there, do you want to make a three-dimensional plot? Something like this simple scatter 3D plot? Or something like this? Or even a surface 3D plot? Well, if you want to do that, stay tuned in this video because I'm Ira and I'm a researcher in Singapore and together we are going to learn about some scripts in our studio to create these interesting graphs. I know it's been a while since my last uploaded video and I also want to share a good news. My paper was just published in a scientific journal and all the graphs and the calculations I used for this analysis were done in our studio. So if you're interested to take a look at it, you can access the link I provided in the description section that will bring you to a 50 days free access of my full paper. So let's start today's tutorial and in this video we will learn about plot 3D in our studio. There are several functions available in our studio to create a plot that has three axes x, y and z. And for this tutorial I will just present three libraries which are plot 3D and then the RGL library and the last one is my favorite plot3. Let's start by loading all the libraries needed. For this tutorial, I use air quality data that you can call directly in R. Remember, if you feel difficult to catch up with this tutorial, please check my blog in the link that I provide in the description section below. This data is a data frame consists of 6 columns and 153 rows. It is a data of air quality for 5 months in the US, I think, and the columns are ozone, solar radiation, wind, temperature, month, and day. The month started in May and ended on September 30. I've already prepared some of the scripts so the video can run more efficiently and this is the basic functions of Scatter3D which is a function to plot points 3D by the Plot3D library. Next step, let's set the labels of X, Y, and Z to be similar with the columns names that we use in the graphs, they are month, ozone, and solar radiations. And also don't forget that we can change the label names in the region as well. For me, I don't really like the gray color as the background of my graph, so I usually change them to a simpler color like black and white so for doing this you can change the pty from g to b2 and then next we can change the perspective of the chart by adding two new variables which are p to vertically adjusted p perspective and then theta to rotate the perspective of our graph both P and theta are in degrees. I will give another example and this example I will change the variables of X, Y and Z by using temp, ozone and month variables respectively and so that we need to change the C-lab, the x labs the y labs and also the z lab For the last touch-up of our graph, 
let's customize our legend so that the color will have five distinct color that is based on the value of the z then we can change the color key of the legends so that it can be expressed as a character for each of the month and also changing the legend positions from right to the bottom using the same data we will now use rgl library first i will declare x y z variables so that my script won't be too long rgl library requires you to call rgl device which is provided by xcode in case of macbook and then you can change the background using the rgl.bg functions However, the setting is not so easy and sometimes makes me confused as I have to use try and error way to get the format that I want. So, I will like to introduce you one of my favorite sites to learn R, which is I found to be quite interesting because I found some of their posts are really relatable to my work. I'd like to give them some credits and please check their awesome sites in the link on the description sections. For the RGL functions, they have made these functions so that you can initiate the RGL device by just copying and then running the script in your own R console. I'd like to use it as well in the next example I give. This function is so great because by running it, you can get the default format of RGL device that you want and it also have a better view and perspective. In the next part of this video, I hope you still hang on there, I will use digital elevation model data that is available in the blog that I provide the link in the description sections as well. And for creating the plot, I will first use the RGL library and plot 3D is one of the basic functions to create a scatter plot of three dimensional data. Oops, sorry, today must up. I need to use the 3D with small letter, not capital letter. And this is the result of point 3D using plot 3D functions, which is available in the RGL library. And to change the color or customize the color, we can create a customized color functions which I will call my color ramp and then we add one variable 
which is color to the plot so the result is going to be better because we can get the range of the colors based on the altitude information I need to inform you that saving the RGL plot is not so easy because you will require another libraries I think it's Knit R if I weren't wrong and then I probably will discuss it in another tutorial so that as an alternative you can save the graph which is provided by Plotly I will give the example below for Plotly you will need the data to be converted as a matrix because that's the requirement of a surface 3D plot of Plotly and then let's run the functions of Plotly if you're running these scripts in our studio console not in our console just like mine the visualizations of the plot is usually presented in the our studio console so you don't need to worry for my case it is presented in Safari but you can always save the data and I think that's all for this tutorial I hope you're all doing well in this strange time stay safe and I'm sorry for my pronunciations I also noticed that it sounds a bit weird because I just put on my braces and it's quite disturbed my way of speaking I think so bye bye and thank you